Hello, I'm Ivana Manley here at Elite Audio in the UK today, and I'm going to show y'all what's going on with Manley headphone amplifiers. Uh, this is a dedicated headphone amplifier, but amazingly, it's also a pre-amplifier. It comes with a remote control for the volume, which is on this wheel here. Um, it's a very flexible design. There's all kinds of ways that you can mutate the sound and sometimes a little unconventional as far as like modern hi-fi world goes. We do have an EQ in here. You've got bass and treble controls, boost and cut that you can bypass or invoke with this switch here. There's a balance control. So if you've got some hearing issues, um, we thought of you and we're considering you here. There's a mono control, which is great if um, you've got a a mono record and the sound is kind of swimming in your ears that really ha helps anchor it down. Inputs and outputs are quite flexible. You've got three sets of outputs. That's the set of RCAs which makes this unit also function as a preamplifier in your system. I'll talk about that in a sec. You've got your traditional quarter inch output here uh, for your headphones and a four pin uh, balance acts a lot for the headphones as well. This little knob here is kind of cool. If you've got young ones around or um, you want to make sure that you don't go over a certain listening level to protect hearing, this is a little limiter here. So you can turn that up. So if the output level hits a certain level, um, it'll automatically turn it down. Um, now, if another cool trick here, if you push and hold the power button, it'll send this unit into a hardwire bypass mode where the first set of RCA jacks gets auto-routed to the RCA outputs. This could be useful if you have another preamplifier in a speaker system and you want to just throw the inputs into that system. Um, again, the unit can be used as a preamplifier, so those RCA outputs track, track the output of the amplifier. All right, that's the ins and outs. This is a tube design using 12AX7s on the inputs. We've got six AQ5s on the outputs. Those are also known as EL90s. You can find those. We are using new old stock RCA six AQ5s here. Interesting, a uh, six AQ5 is also electrically equivalent, but not pin compatible or size compatible with a six V6. This is a little baby output stage here, little baby tube amplifier. You can switch it from push-pull to single-ended on the switch here. That alters the whole output tube topology. And that's a trick we've done in a couple other big power amplifiers that we make, and we're doing that trick here. With single-ended, you hear more second harmonic, so, and it's, it's better for maybe female vocals and more simple music, push-pull, uh, emphasizes the odd order harmonics more than the even. Uh, so it, it's probably better for like rock and roll and stuff, uh, more complicated music that needs more control on it. You can also alter the amount of control on the negative feedback control here. So we can go from no feedback to up to 10 dBs of global negative feedback applied to the circuit. This uh, alters the slew rate of the amplifier it changes the apparent speed, like kind of a little faster and punchier with less feedback, but it's a little more raw sounding. And then you can tame it down and tone it down by applying more feedback, that's cool. There's no right or wrong. There's no headphone police that are gonna come up to you and say, oh my God, I can't believe you were boosting the treble and you had very little feedback, you know, away to headphone jail, to you go. That doesn't exist, so. That's the whole point, is to let you custom tailor the sound to however you want it, and um, wherever you find enjoyment in the music, that's what's important to us.